Or, or get you know, to Steve now. All right, let's let Steve have a break. You go to Audrey. Audrey, now you play this role of Steve. George, go ahead. Audrey, you know, you sound very reluctant to want to get this house sold. Let me ask you one question before I get off the phone. Um, you know, uh, do you really want to sell your house? Because I'm here willing to buy your property from you today and uh, you sound like you're you're not ready to do that you know I guess help me understand why that is uh you know George I the property means a lot to me we've had it for decades I don't know how to let go of it I want to get the most money but you know and now this means I have to move on with my life and Part of me is reluctant to do that. Well, I can appreciate that. Tell us you should stay in the why, home. Why don't you just Why don't you just not sell it then? Yeah. I mean, uh, we need the money. Ah, you need the money. Well, yeah. if, you, if you need the money, I'm here to give it to you today. What does she need the money for, George? Make it emotional. Find out. What 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 do you uh, What are you going to do with the money you get from it? Pile it up in a big pile on the kitchen table. Oh, that would be nice, but no, we, we needed to move to our next place. Okay, so you're gonna buy another. <laughs> you're gonna buy another place. We're going to a mobile home in a nice retirement community that's gonna be affordable, and that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so if I could, if I could show you a way today to be able to get that, that you know, get a contract signed that would get you that money, that's not something you'd be willing to do today, is it? It is, but of course, you know, I have to check with my husband. Okay, uh, a little yeah. time out, just a little time out here. George, paint a picture, paint a better picture in her mind right now. Make it a little bit more elaborate. Put it in Technicolor, okay, with special effects and virtual reality and everything. But paint a better picture in her mind so she, could, so she gets a little more emotional. Go ahead. So Audrey, you know, I'm, I'm here to, to try and buy your house. And if, uh, if we do that, you know, you're gonna be able to not have to worry about this existing house at all. I mean, we're gonna, that's gonna be off your plate and you're gonna have a bunch of cash to be able to go buy that mobile home in a retirement park that you're, that you're wanting to do. And uh, you're right. I know you're right. I mean, let's just do it. I, I don't want to spend any more time. We don't want to. We just want the money now. We want to move now. Okay. So if I offered you uh, $160,000 in cash, and I sent that over in a contract today, uh, can you get that signed and turned around back to me by, you know, four o'clock? Uh, well, we both, I, I just have to make sure my husband will sign. Okay. Is there a particular reason why you think he wouldn't sign? Oh, you know, he's just, a t it's hard for him to let go of the house. Yeah, I hear you. Well, I'm going to need to, uh, to go. So, uh, uh, I'll send you that contract over and then check back with you. No, no, okay. no specific. Sorry to interrupt. Make her, she's got the offers on the table. I want your husband to sign it and get it back to me today or let's have another meeting at 4.30. Yeah. Get, go for it today. Okay. So, Audrey, I'll get this contract over to you. Uh, can you get it signed by four o'clock and get it back to me? And if you haven't, we'll have another conversation at uh, 4.30 or so. 160,000? Yes. Okay. All right. Sounds good. You'll have it shortly. Thanks, George. Good. You're welcome. Yeah, when they when you get that was good. Good round. Nice give him a round. That was a good that was so good. That was a good role play. Don't let him have that dangling participle in. Oh, that's fine. I'll talk to my husband and and uh, we'll get back here. Role play with me on this, somebody. You know, it's a it's a really good deal. Um, you know, and I'm gonna talk to my wife about it. And um, it sounds really good, and I'll get back to you really sh uh, shortly. 
Uh, when you say shortly, what, what, what do you mean by that? Uh, you know, um, uh, he works real late. He's a dental floss sales. Why am I always saying dental floss salesman? Um, he's, uh, he's very, uh, she's very busy selling dental floss, and um, she doesn't get home till 8, 8.30. So it'll, it'll be a day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at the latest. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at the latest. Okay. Oh, well, my offer stands on the table for, uh, for today, Claude. Um, I like that. Give him a round for that. Yeah. I Woo! like that. I like that. That's guts. I like when he said, what do you mean by that? That's excellent. Yes. Yeah. But you, make sure you know, you know, I'm not sure if I understand what do you mean by that. Use your words. Watch your tonality. You don't want to get in an argument or bully her okay. or him. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you want to adjust your way, the way you say your words. Help me out a little bit. What something do you like that. that. And you might want to explain why you need it today. You're a busy man. Your your time is valuable. Use scarcity on your side again. Well, you know, my wife won't be home till eight eight thirty. So I don't, uh, you know, I really want to talk to her about it. This is a big, uh, you know, we've been talking about selling this house for a long time. I'm sure I'll get back to you by Tuesday, Wednesday at the latest, Chris. Okay. Well, my offer stands on the table today, Claude. I'm a very busy man. I, I'm working on several other deals right now. Uh, if you'd like to do business today, uh, can, can we get together 